Eddie, have you seen Eddie? Where Eddie? Well, I think we lost our host. I, I don't know what to do. Where to, where's our, you won't be needing your host anymore. I've taken good care of him. Yes, he's off getting some food in the bathroom. I, however, am the interloper, alien warrior comedian, and now we're going to go talk to some wonderful people. Hello, Alien Comedian reporting here live from Epcon 2011. And I'm standing here with the cutest hobbit ever made. What is your name? My name is Allison. That's your hobbit name? My name is Allisonius. As I look at you, you kind of look like a biker hobbit. You know, do, what kind of bike do you ride? I ride a bicycle. That makes sense. Probably a tricycle, I'm guessing. All right, and what are you doing here at the con today? Today I just came to check out something different. We hardly get any cool events like this in El Paso, so I wanted to come out and support so that stuff like this could keep on happening for everybody here. You feel the need to support? Yes. Give me some money. <laughs> um, I paid $15 to come in. I'll just take whatever I want then. There, now you're down $3 more. In return. <laughs> you get to live. <laughs> this, why do you look like the worst one on your paintball team? I don't think I'd give this man a gun at all. <laughs> what, what's the best thing you've seen here at the con today? All the girls, man. You got them dressed up in their outfit. You like human female? That's right, flesh. I've been having some trouble. Oh, yeah, the tongue, that'll bring them right in. Use that charm, baby. I can see them running now. <laughs> all right, what, what do you look for in a nice female? Well, I'm married, but you know, hey, meat, flesh is good. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, the monogamous human male. All right. What is your name? My name is Eliana. Eliana, <laughs> what are you doing with that large, that large blade? What am I doing with it? Step forward here. Now, where are you from? <laughs> from Chicago. <laughs> Chicago? Is this how they circumcise in Chicago? Yes, it is. Well, where, <laughs> oh, I've already been circumcised three times. Jesus. No, no, no. He didn't do it. He's not a, he's not a qualified moil. I was talking about Jesus down the street. Oh well. He's qualified to cut the lawn, not anything else. I kid, Jesus. And you are portraying who? The Red Ranger. The Red. Uh, you look like. You look like the Red Comforter. <laughs> A little bit. Did the Red Power Ranger have such beautiful plush stitching? Uh, All right. How old are you? I'm 18. Really? <laughs> you know, even if I believed you, I wouldn't. Do you have a female in your life? I have multiple. <laughs> multiple females. All right, well, I can see there's one, two, three. They're very cute. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Do you want to talk too? Come on in. I just want you to know I loved you in the movie Tron. You were awesome. Woo! I love that movie. Where, where are you from? I'm from, well, from El Paso, but right now I'm going to college in Phoenix. Oh, excellent. What are you studying? Uh, computer engineering. It's not sewing and stitching. That much is obvious. Hell no. So I'm standing here with Happy Smurf. Happy Smurf has been mutated into a fanged vampire. Show us your teeth. She grew up with the Power Rangers. I did, yeah. Uh, and, and what's your name? My name is Janelle Campos. Do you like punishment? Yes. <laughs> you have the Punisher, right? Tell us what kind of punishment you need. Um, well, I don't need punishment. Come on, baby, tell me. Don't play that coy game with me. <laughs> I don't. How old are you? I'm 17. I retract my statements wholeheartedly. Go away, jailbait. <laughs> Hello, who are you today, sir? Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. Ca Captain Jack Sparrow. Hi. All right, is it true that you have <clears throat> bisexual tendencies? No. Why would I have that? Because I have six nostrils and I can smell men on you. Oh, well, I have a ship full of men. <laughs> I'm sure you do. They're all seamen. What's your mission here today? Oh, uh, fine booty. Fine booty. See, am I right or am I right? All right, so that aside now, what do you do during the day? Oh, you don't want to know, mate. Uh, if I didn't want to know, I wouldn't have asked. Oh, well, can you read minds? I'm going to guess you do hair and braids and things like that. Oh, would you let me do yours? Uh, well, you know, it's a little bit solid. Uh, I can work with that. Excellent, excellent. Who are your friends over here? I don't know. Introduce yourself. All right, well, I'm a businessman for Umbrella. That's why I have this right here. That's hate. You know, zombies are people too, and when they come back from the dead, they're going to want their social security benefits. Quite, quite. But I won't give them any benefits. I'll just reap the benefits from them. Do you still shop with your mother? <laughs> Possibly. It's a very nice suit you're wearing. 
Why, thank you very much. Right. Let's talk to someone who needs to shop with their mother. Hello, how are you? No, no, you look just fine. The skinnies work. All right, so what's your name? Uh, Chris. Is that Chris male or Chris female? <laughs> male. I'm just checking. I've met some hairy women in my time. All right, so uh, how are you enjoying the con? Uh, I'm enjoying it quite well. It's uh, a lot of a lot of cool costumes, a lot of uh, cute women. So. Yeah. Oh, all right. He's he's giving us a standard generic response for a human male to associate his preference in gender. How old are you? <laughs> 18. <laughs> nice cover, dude. <laughs> All right, 18 years old. Don't worry, I'm not going to out you in here. Are you here with your mother? No. Captain Jack is escorting you around. Yes. All right, because you are the one I smelled all over him. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to be when you grow up? Uh, Do hair, flight attendant? <laughs> composer. Oh, you're going to compose. Well, there's all kinds of composing, right? Right. right. Which kind in specific? Um, symphonic. Oh, all right, music. Yes. Which instrument do you play? No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> uh, I'm actually a voice major. Oh, a voice major. Can you sing for me? Uh, Hit a few high notes. Make everybody in this hallway look up at us in an uncomfortable manner. Show them your chords. I'm a little uncomfortable with making it uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Give us just a little. Just give us one note. La. An excellent vibrato. I'm here to kill zombies. Well, why do you want to kill any of these people? They're already dead. I know, but you know, I'm tired of them eating my friends. Zombies have been eating your friends? Yes. I, I don't have a problem believing that. I have a problem believing that you have friends. Could you show us what's on your bat utility backpack? I have uh, an axe. To grind? Yes. Very good. Daggers. Because, can, can we just turn around all the... It looks to me like you have all the finest tools for a moment of bondage in a really bad film. CB radio isn't alive anymore. That would died in the 70s, didn't it? 80s. You see, now we have something called Verizon. Say it with me. Verizon. What is that? It's, you know, communications, teleportation. Hello. I, I believe that everyone at the con here today wants to know why you're pulling her around on a leash. Because I feel like it. You know, there's no particular reason. You just, you know, went down to the pet store and said, this goes well with my best friend. Exactly. I was like, oh, she's very brightly colored. I'll take her. How did you two happen to meet? It's a long story. Uh, it's a long leash. Yeah, exactly. Well, what's your name? Mitsu. You will allow her to speak? I do, on occasion. All right. Mi Mitsi? Mitsu. Mitsu. All right, Mitsu. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh... I cosplay. I'm a pet store. You're, you work at a pet store? Well, at a vet clinic. On the vet. This is so creepy. Now you want to know where all the puppy mill animals are coming from? Right here. All right, and tell us about those gloves. You look like you've been catching paintballs. No, it's leopard. Oh, it's leopard, yes. That's the gayest leopard ever right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> is that your hand on my posterior? It sure is. You want me to move it? A little higher. That works. You know, I was going to interview you, but I, I forgot what I was going to say completely. <laughs> My cod piece runneth over. Well, you were going to ask about our calendar. That's what we're here for. That's exactly what I was going to ask about. Tell me about your calendar. <laughs> them if you buy one today. Sorry, did you say something? I didn't hear a word. Because you're looking at my chest. I am not. How <laughs> dare you accuse me of that, woman? Well, this right here could be my favorite booth. It looks like a big nebula. You are from the 1960s? Um, almost. You're a time traveler. I'm a time traveler. That's what it is, yeah. Explain to me why you have all these things that are clearly from the 60s. Well, I think that um, I'm a hippie at heart, and um, I've just decided to make some tie-dyes. And What do you mean hippie at heart? You're nothing like the hippies. You smell good. You're, you're, you're wearing clothes. You don't have a commune or naked little children running around. You're not high on acid or drugs. What kind of hippie booth is this? Are you sure about that? I'm positive. <laughs> well, um, just trying to, I guess, bring the hippie out of the people and just let them be loose and relaxed. You're selling acid here, aren't you? <laughs> That'll get them all wide, I'm sure. Let's do an anti-drug message for the children. Children, I want you to look at this woman and understand why it's bad to take drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> I bet there are a million children who will watch this and they'll never get near it. <laughs> I hope so. But do come and, you know, get some tie-dye and 
feel hippie anymore. Now you're telling them to get some tie-dye? What kind of drug is that? It's a healthy drug. It's a hallucinogen. Either that or some ginseng. What's the best thing you've seen today with your one eye? Um, you and Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit is here? Really? Is Roger around? No. I'm going to go put the moves on Jessica. Have a good day. I can tell how this is going to go already because you're so quiet. Do you ever speak? Yes. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm in marching band, symphonic band, and I talk too much when I'm not shy. All right. Have you tried Ritalin? What? what? It's working already. Thank you. What's the coolest thing you have on your uniform? Pull it out. Uh, pull it out, huh? Will not penetrate. Will not penetrate. No penetration for this man. None at all. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you have a large green diamond hanging out your ass. Well, this is the alien warrior comedian. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, hang on a second. Epcot. Excuse me, excuse me, we have somebody who lost their child here. Can somebody please come and claim their child? He's, hello, what's your name? I'll find your mother. <laughs> he killed my bit. <laughs> Kidnapper!